y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is the girl Chanel. You can call me Nam. Family, you and y'all are definitely family. And so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get your mini twist to look like kinky twist. So yeah, if you are wanting to figure out how to do that, keep watching. I'm going to be doing a mini twist tutorial. Um, the way I do my mini twist is I leave my hair up in plaits because for the most part, if I don't have mini twists in my head, I'm wearing um, plaits. And so what I'll do is I'll wash my hair. I'll leave the plaits in for a week so that my hair is fully stretched and I don't have to blow it out because I just stretch my hair out for a week um now i take the twist out and i actually only take one braid out at a time so that's easier for me and my hair doesn't get tangled because it takes me a minute to um do many twists and so you guys what i usually use when i am doing my hair is i'll use this can to uh, come back curl next day curl revitalizer um and i spray a little bit on my ends I don't spray too much on it though because I don't want my hair to revert too much because then that's not the style I'm going for. But if you like the shrink, um, if you like for your twist to be nice and thick and full and, th and juicy, then I would suggest that you, you know, then you can definitely do your twist while it's wet. Um, but I'm going to do my dry. I like to do my mini twist relatively small and when I do my mini twist people think that I'm locking my hair up and I'm doing micro uh, locks or something because that's how small I like to do mine. I don't know if I'm going to do them that small but every time I say I'm not going to do them small I end up doing them small. So I'm going to use this Cantu uh, coconut, coconut curling cream and so I just put a little bit on my ends and a little bit on my the shaft of my hair not much because like i said i don't want my hair to revert um too much and then i'll part it so i'm gonna try to get up a little closer so that y'all can see how i do it and so when i do my mini twists what i do is you have to grip the base really tight uh and then you make sure that you don't let it loose, loose up. I mean, don't loosen it up. And then you twist as you're twisting. And some people say, don't borrow. I borrow because it, it keeps my hair in. Um, and it makes so that it doesn't unravel. Even though my hair is kinkier and it's usually not going to unravel. But I like to do it that way. If it's too small on one side, then I'll borrow from the other. But yeah, um, so as you can see, I'm going to go slow. And I just twist as I'm twisting. And I smooth out my hair um, as I'm going down. And as you can see, I'm still, it's still real tight. Like it's not like, it's not loose at all. And you'll see um, the end result once I'm done. And so... I'm going to show you guys a few of how I do it. And as you see, I just borrow some. That's okay. If you don't borrow or somebody tells you not to borrow, that's fine. That's how I do mine. I've never had an issue with it. And so, uh, as, long as, you, as long as you know how to take them down, you won't have an issue with your hair uh, tangling up or anything like that. Um, and take your time. So. I like to twist mine down almost for the majority of the part, all the way down to the end. Um, and see, see how it's uh, pretty stretched out. Um, now, once I wear it for a certain amount of time, give it three days, and it's gonna shrink up like it just did. But for a while, though, it'll be. Uh, you know, so when I do my twist is, because I like for my, my twist to be full. Um, and so what I do is, all my twists are not the same size. So in the middle, 
um, my twists are bigger. I like to have different sizes to give my uh, hair, my hair texture like it definitely makes it more fully. Even though I have thick hair, but I like that look. Like I like having different. I'll be back um, after I finish off um, this section here. Hey y'all, so I told y'all I'd come back once I got done with this section. This section took about maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, I could have got it done a little bit sooner, but I was watching uh, YouTube, watching Shannon, uh, Family Matters. Uh, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon and Vadis getting married. Such a beautiful family. I'm going to come back um, once I get to the front part to show you guys how I do my front.
see. And make sure that the base is tight. And as I am twisting, I hold it and keep it tight. Um, keep holding it tight. Keep twisting it very tightly. And I do it that way just so when, after I get done twisting it all the way down, um, it'll stay tight. Like it won't, my, the base of my hair won't be frizzy. Eventually, as I, uh, as I wear these, they will frizz up, which I don't mind because I like my, I like my twist to be frizzy. Like for the first week and a half, like my twist will stay looking just like this especially if i don't like wet it um and what i'll do is too is after um after i get done wearing them like this for like a week i'll then style it um and i'll show i'll come back and have some videos up with me styling how i style it Also, another thing when you're doing mini twists is if you want to do, um, if you want to do a middle part or a side part, um, which your hair is parted all over, but if you're wanting your hair when it's initially um, done, if you want it to um, go to the right or the left, how you do it is when you are twisting your hair, that's why I had stopped this with this first braid is because when you're twisting your hair, what you do is you turn it and you want to make sure that you are twisting your hair in the direction that you want it to lay because when it is fresh and you twist and you do it correctly, your hair is going to lay in that direction until, uh, you know, it starts to get old. So. I'm just twisting in the same direction that I want it to lay. Thank you.